Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here. About to give you another Mortal Kombat X video. In this video, we're going to be talking about what is actually wrong with Mortal Kombat X. Those of you guys know that patch 1.8, in my opinion, probably did more harm than good to the game. Why do I feel that the game is kind of in a bad spot right now? The reason for that partially is due to the way the multiplayer works. Unlike Injustice Gods Among Us, there is nothing to actually look forward to in a multiplayer season. Like, yes, you get Blood Rubies. Yes, you can get Dark Emperor Liu Kang and Kobu Jutsu Tanya. Unfortunately, neither one of those cards are actually going to be, like, impressive saying, oh, we're going to win the game. Dark Emperor Liu Kang does not do that because once he uses his two bars of power, well, it's just another card. And cards like Classic Scorpion have the unblockable spears at 80%. You have Dark Raiden that can heal from Dark Magic. You got... Uh, power Drain Reversals, you got Undead Hunter Johnny Cage that has the ability to gain power when he knocks out an opponent. Like, there's some pretty cool cards in Mortal Kombat X. We're going to show some of them off right now. So, they've actually been pretty good with some of the cards. We're going to sort by newest so you can kind of get an idea of where I'm going here. So, like, for example, High Tech Jackie Briggs. This card, they finally gave special op teammates power generation. This is really huge when you're using Covert Ops Cassie Cage along with Undead Hunter Johnny Cage or when you use Cold War Sonya Blade because that gives you another unique buff which is super annoying. Now this Jackie Briggs also has Power Drain which is pretty cool. One problem that I have with Mortal Kombat X is the combat system and the ability to knock out multiple opponents at once. We're going to do a single matchup in Faction Wars and I'm going to explain exactly what I'm talking about. And this is something that I feel that Netherrealm needs to address and needs to fix sooner rather than later. So we're going to be using Classic Sub-Zero. We're going to be using Shaolin Kung Jin. And let's use Thunder God Rated. So basically we're going to start at two bars. We're going to use the entire bloody voodoo set. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully we get somebody that doesn't have a lot of stats so we can show this off properly. Now, one thing that I really think makes Injustice Gods Among Us stand out, and this is actually a good fight to test it out in. So we're going to start at two bars. Hopefully we don't get power drain off the bat. No, we don't. So we're going to get off the slide kick. Kenshi is blocking. Now... If that were to actually hit a fourth time, it would never hit on another opponent. Now, I think that's a really bad game design because what I think makes Injustice Gods Among Us a premier game is the fact that you can knock out multiple opponents with your special moves. For example, there, a slide kick, one shot, it's supposed to do six. Why can't it hit multiple opponents? I really think that's a bad game design. And another bad game design Mortal Kombat X has, you can't block a special if you combo. There are no heavy attacks in Mortal Kombat X. You can do that all day, cheese your opponent out. And I really like that Injustice Gods Among Us actually has time to recover from a combo. Some of you guys may disagree with that, but I really think that makes the gameplay a little bit boring and a little bit cheesy when the opponent does the same thing, combos into a special one that you have, cannot do anything against. I really like that aspect in Injustice Gods Among Us, and I really think it's a flawed system. Now next up is another topic which I'm sure that another realm does not like me talking about and it is the lovely soul system. So every card after Thunder God Raiden except for Cybernetic Jackie Briggs, Injustice Scorpion and the Cassie Cage that you also get undercover Cassie Cage. Every other gold card except for Cutthroat Kano will cost you souls. Well I get the idea of this as a premium currency. Yes you can farm for characters over time but remember there's a lot of cheap people, me included, that do not want to pay to play a game. So you can see a lot of these cards are not going to be maxed out. And I really think that Netherrealm needs to do something with that. They could actually have like multiplayer seasons, kind of like Gods of Rome, where they offer the new characters in multiplayer seasons for a week. And it could give you a chance to get a copy of a card, say, for if you place in the top 1%. Now, one other thing I also like to talk about, which really pisses me off about Mortal Kombat X... And that would be the fact that I cannot access my friends list. I have all these friends. If I try to pull up the friends list, it'll just lag out on me. And if I go into battle mode to try to complete a tower, I'll go to fight. 
and it'll basically just hang on fighting allies and you can't do anything with the game. So this aspect really has me pissed off about Mortal Kombat X the most because I can't do anything about it. So those of you guys that are wondering, it's YouTube-HS. If another Roman employee sees this video, be sure to check my email for that. So yes, I really think that fixing the multi-hit aspect of Mortal Kombat X would be really cool. And I'm not saying if you spear somebody, you can hit somebody else. I'm talking about when you're using multi-hit moves like Classic Sub-Zero, you need to allow the full move to go off on a second or third opponent. I really think the combo aspects of Injustice Gods Among Us are what makes the fighting game really good. For example, if you can be um, Injustice 2 Superman with a stun tag in after your Red Sun Superman gets obliterated. That's random, that's awesome, that's really cool. Why doesn't Mortal Kombat X have any gear that's actually fun? Yes, the bloody gear is pretty cool, but take some hints from WW Immortals and Injustice Gods Among Us. Add some gear that actually does something. Add a reason to actually do multiplayer outside of getting the bloody gear, which has really limited uses in PvE, as you can just get the Wrath Hammer, which is a much better version of the Bloody Tomahawk other than the power generation. You have the Draconic Shield that can work against basic attacks. You have Katana's rare gear that also stacks with the Bloody Shokin Armor. And that's really the best use for it. And of course if you're Quan Chi, you have the same effect minus the PvP damage as the Bloody Voodoo Doll. So, if you like this video talking about what is actually wrong with Mortal Kombat X and some of the ways that they could actually fix it. Like for example, discounted characters souls or just drop that mechanic all together and find another way to charge people money but if you like this video on what is wrong with mortal kombat x and a couple things that they need to address please give this video a like rating comment subscribe share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite check out my other mortal kombat x videos my playlist facebook twitter and twitch which are all hollywood shono and for the love of god another room please fix this finding allies bullshit have a wonderful day kids Who's next? Next, 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 Finish him! www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!